Well, the housing market is definitely heating up here in the Sacramento Valley. I'm seeing a lot of open houses advertised. At one of the open houses my team attended a week or so ago, they met a lot of first-time home buyers. Many of them had not yet been pre-approved for a home loan and didn't have an agent. But they were there because they had a vision of the size of home they want for their young families, felt they could afford the price, and it was in a neighborhood that they really wanted to be in, primarily because of the schools. All in all, out of the 60 families that came through, and yeah, it was a bunch, I would estimate over half were serious potential buyers and just needed a little extra help getting the financing and hiring an agent that understands their goals and that they felt comfortable with. The listing agent actually got one offer out of the open house as well. Open houses in this housing market may just be one of the best ways to generate leads. It's one of my favorites. And you have three main advantages. One, face-to-face -face meeting, the ability to connect immediately. It's kind of retail housing, right? You get to meet people right there on the spot. Number two, the opportunity to show your knowledge of the neighborhood, schools, home values, market, financing. Number three, demonstrate your marketing skills and how to present your home. Now, when you get a call off of Zillow or Realtor.com, you have less than one minute to build rapport with them over the phone, which has a pretty low conversion rate and it's a lot more work to do. If you receive a first email from a buyer who wants to get more information on the listing, the conversion rate is even worse. They just want information and they don't care so much about you. The power of the open house is in the generating leads, the relationships that can be built. It can be more valuable than anything else that an agent can do. Holding an open house in a large metropolitan area or for a luxury home isn't going to have the same draw perhaps, but open houses for homes in the median price range have shown to be a great opportunity. If you need an idea on how to maximize the marketing of your open house or to get remembered and to start to really build that relationship, call or email us. We'd love to share ideas with you and help you grow your business. Now for Minding Your Own Business. While direct mail and EDDM can be an effective marketing tool for real estate agents, door hangers are making a comeback. Woohoo! Hey, it's low tech, but they're fantastic. Here's some advantages of using door hangers. Visibility. While a postcard in a stack of bills is really easy to ignore, a piece of paper hanging from your doorknob is not. Novelty. Since door hangers are more rare, People might at least read them quickly instead of throwing them straight into the garbage or as they're walking to the garbage, maybe they'll read them then. Flexibility. Door hangers have no restrictions, well at least almost no restrictions in size and shape. You can staple business cards to them, include bags with fridge magnets or pamphlets or little smarties and candy or a flag. Plus you can define your own set of neighborhood blocks to market to. Pricing. While your printing costs will be roughly the same, you don't have the postage costs. Although you may have sweat equity in the process if you walk the neighborhood yourself or hire a student. Promote open houses. This is a great way to piggyback on open houses and impress your sellers. Walk the neighborhood prior to the open house with your door hangers, inviting them to come see your home. Well, that's it for another edition of the Real Estate Insider Weekly. Thank you for watching. Hire your kid, do it for free, hang the door hangers, and have a great day.